diabetes can affect many parts of our body, including our skin. Some skin changes are seen in later stage of diabetes, but some changes are early indicator of diabetes. In fact, skin problems are sometimes the first sign that a person has diabetes. Few skin lesions are typically seen in diabetes, but some skin changes are general and anyone can have it. But people with diabetes get more easily. So let's discuss the signs one by one. Have you ever noticed a dark patch or a band of velvety skin on the back of your neck? Not only neck, it can be seen in armpit and groin areas. It is commonly seen in obese people. The medical term of this condition is acanthosis nigricans and it is a sign of high blood glucose level. It may be the first sign that someone has diabetes. If you notice this type of skin changes, then consult your doctor. Early detection of diabetes can prevent many future complications. Next important feature is skin tags. Many people have few skin tags or skin growth and that is normal and harmless. But you can see in this image, this type of numerous skin tags with blackish discoloration of skin could be a sign of high blood glucose level. These growths are most common on the eyelids, neck, armpit and the groin region. You can see yellow, reddish or brown patches on your skin. This skin condition often begins as small raised solid bumps that look like a pimple. As it progresses, these bumps turn into patches of swollen and hard skin. The patches can be yellow, reddish or brown. You may also notice the surrounding skin has a shiny porcelain like appearance. You can also see blood vessels. The skin is itchy and painful. The skin disease goes through cycles where it is active, inactive and then active again. The medical name for this condition is Necrobiosis Lipoidica. If you see this type of skin lesion, then get tested for diabetes. Next important change is skin hardening or thickening. About one third of people with type 1 diabetes have digital sclerosis. A thick, tight waxy skin that develops on the back of the hands. The finger joints stiffen and become difficult to move. Sometimes this skin problem occurs on the toes and forehead as well. Rarely knees, ankles or elbows may stiffen. Control of blood glucose level and physical therapy may be helpful in this situation. You can use moisturizer to soften the skin. This skin condition causes spots that create a barely noticeable depression in the skin. It's common in people who have diabetes. The medical name is diabetic dermopathy. It usually forms on the shins. In rare cases, you will see it on the arms, thighs, trunk or other areas of the body. The spot doesn't cause any symptom. For these reasons, many people mistake them for age spots. Now unlike age spots, these spots and lines usually start to fade after 18 to 24 months. Diabetic dermopathy can also stay on the skin indefinitely. It's rare but people with diabetes can see blisters suddenly appearing on their skin. You may see a large blister, a group of blisters or both. The blisters tend to form on the hands, feet, legs or forearms and look like the blisters that appears after a serious burn. Now unlike the blisters that develop after a burn, these blisters are not painful. Eruptive xanthomatosis is commonly seen in uncontrolled diabetes. When these bumps appear, they often look like pimples. Unlike pimples, they soon develop a yellowish color. You will usually find these bumps on the buttocks, thighs, crooks of the elbow or the backs of the knees. They can form anywhere though. Now no matter where they form, they are usually tender and itchy. These yellow bumps disappear promptly when the diabetes is well controlled. People who have diabetes tend to get frequent skin infections. It could be bacterial or fungal. Bacterial infections commonly seen in diabetes are styes, which is an infection of the glands of the eyelid, 
फॉलिकुलाइटिस और इन्फेक्शन ऑफ द हेयर फॉलिकल कार्बन कल्स और डीप इन्फेक्शन ऑफ द स्किन एंड द टिश्यू अंडरनीथ फंगल इन्फेक्शन इज ऑल्सो वेरी कॉमन इन डायबिटीज इट इज मोस्ट कॉमनली सीन इन वॉर्म मॉइस्ट फोल्स ऑफ द स्किन लाइक अंडर द ब्रेस्ट अराउंड द नील्स बिटवीन द फिंगर्स एंड द टोज कॉर्नर्स ऑफ द माउथ आम पिट्स एंड ग्रोइन रीजन कॉमन फंगल इन्फेक्शन इंक्लूड जॉकेच एथलीट्स फूट रिंग वॉर्म एंड वजाइनल इन्फेक्शन दैट कॉजेज इचिंग हैविंग हाई ब्लड शुगर फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम कैन लीड टू पुअर सर्क्यूलेशन एंड नर्व डैमेज यू मे हैव डेवलप दिस इफ यू हैव अनकंट्रोल्ड डायबिटीज फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम Poor circulation and nerve damage can make it hard for your body to heal wounds. This is especially true on the feet. These open wounds are called diabetic ulcers. If you have diabetes, you should check your feet every day for sores and open wounds. Localized itching is often caused by diabetes. It can be caused by yeast infection, dry skin or poor circulation. When poor circulation is a cause of itching, the itchiest area may be the lower parts of the legs now you may be able to treat itching yourself limit how often you bathe particularly when the humidity is low use mild soap with moisturizer and apply skin cream after bathing so to conclude this if you notice one or more of the above mentioned signs then it's important that you correlate with other risk factors like obesity family history of diabetes or having a sedentary lifestyle just having only one sign cannot be directly linked to diabetes it can be associated with other diseases also but if you are 40 plus and fall into this high risk groups then it's better to check blood sugar levels on a regular basis early detection of diabetes and a precautionary measure can prevent many future complications all right that's all for today Hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.